Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs. Welcome back to another video. Abby says I shouldn't wear my sunglasses in this video, but I'm cool, aren't I? Tell me in the comments that I'm cool, please. <laughs> anyway, right, we are here to break down the Centenary Special trailer, Shocked by Shot, because when I, I've only watched it once so far and I- Literally about five minutes ago. <laughs> almost like, I, I, I don't know how to express how I'm feeling. It's Let's mad. just watch it. No, but it's mad. Let's like, watch it. Great, isn't it? It's great. Abby doesn't care because she hasn't <laughs> watched Classic Doctor. Can we start hashtag make Abby watch Classic Doctor Who I've in the comments, I've already watched please? all of them. I'm not... No, I think you should. She should... You... <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll watch the trailer. Okay, okay so first shot. Nothing is, Nothing is forever. And it's Jodie ominously leaning on the TARDIS console, I presume. I'm going to tilt the camera down slightly. Also, I'm doing this all in one. That was dangerous. Not on my knee. <laughs> Leaked, Leaked knee. Abby's knee. Right. So first shot, not that interesting. Jodie looking sad. Dramatic cut to black. Then we have the Daleks. Okay. They look cool. Um. Yeah. Not much to say. Where are they? Is that possibly? Is Gallifrey? that the tower? Towers of. Towers of Durium. It's the same colour, but I'm thinking. Look or at that. Look at that. No, because orange is Gallifrey. That looks like yeah, so are the towers of Darillion. But why would the Daleks be in the towers of Darillion? I don't know. <laughs> They're going for a mad one. Maybe River's coming River? back as well. <gasps> oh my god, no. I, I would actually... I don't think... Uh, I don't uh, think... No, but you can Because that's the thing as well. River time, was time River travel. was mentioned in that episode. Yeah, because she said, um, like, my one... <gasps> maybe... Where, oh, maybe Thasmin's going to happen and then River's going to show up. No, it would be too it much. There's, oh, there's already too many characters. No, but that would Maybe. imagine. Oh. Imagine if they're about know. to kiss or something, and then and River, then River shows, shows up, up and, then, and joins in. Yeah. But, oh. <laughs> anyway, right, we have Daleks on what's possibly Gallifrey. I think they're going to go back to Gallifrey. The and they're going to go back to Gallifrey in the Centenary Special. They I are. think that's definitely the tower. Right next. Right, this is really interesting. Okay, how the hell is he back? That's Ashad, the lone Cyberman from series 12. He got miniaturised. Remember the master, like, zapped him. I don't remember him, but I'm just going to accept that it's a cool yeah, like, return like, of a character. Yeah, like, this man should not be alive, but he's back. Is it They're time travel? They're always back, though. They always get yeah. destroyed and come back and destroyed and come back. <laughs> I mean, time said in the, the series 13 finale, beware of the forces that mass against you and their master... These are going to be the forces that are massing against the Doctor. Like, there's so much going on in this trailer as well. It it slightly terrifies me. I just hope me. it's not like the flux and it's too much. Yeah. And then, oh. I don't know, because it's a feature-length episode as well, and it's supposed to be celebrating 100 years of the BBC, so... Is that 100, 130 minutes? <laughs> an hour and a half, I know. Um, well, no, it just means over an hour long, but it'll probably yeah. be about an hour and a half, we can hope. <laughs> and the master, okay. Yes! Yes! Sup, hey! sup, 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 sup. <laughs> now... Interesting note, later on in the trailer, we see him with a massive, like, long beard. Mm. Almost like the Curse of the Fatal Death, that, like, Rowan Atkinson spoof like thing. Like, two, two versions. Yeah, but, like, this is him completely clean-shaven, so maybe this is after he's shaved off his beard or That's, yeah, something. Now, yeah, but mad, oh, like, <laughs> lovely to have the master back. Then we get an ominous shot of Jodie looking all serious. Tegan! Oh my god. Tegan. Uh, it's actually Tegan. It's, it's Tegan. <laughs> in the comments, please appreciate that I can, it's Tegan. I can appreciate it for you. I can Tegan. appreciate it for you. I'm calm. I'm not for quiet. those of you who, who don't know, who are Abby-like, Tegan is the companion of the fourth and fifth Doctor. She appeared in the fourth Doctor's last story, continued throughout a lot of the fifth Doctor's era, and then mm. she got fed up of him and left in a huff mm. because she'd watched too many Daleks kill too many mm. people. I thought it was Sarah Jane. I didn't know she passed <laughs> away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it would be a shame because I, I reckon if Elizabeth Sladen was still with us, she would definitely be yeah. in this lineup of absolute chads. Is that but, yeah. Sarah Jane? Yeah, yeah, Elizabeth Sladen. Yeah, so this is Tegan talking on the phone to. Just because it's only three days. <laughs> it's ace! <laughs> I do actually recognise her. I don't. I, yeah. I must have seen her in something else because I haven't watched. I don't that think she does many other things. You've probably seen. Maybe I've probably it's like a clip or something. Yeah. Because yeah. she was in. She. You might have seen her like in one of my videos. Not. I mean, Thary's interviewed the actress herself. So, 
Not that you watch the Tharys YouTube channel, because we hate Tharys on this channel. We don't actually. Hashtag but hate Tharys. Yeah, if Tharys, if you're watching this, you, you smell. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Jokes, we love you. <laughs> You know you're complaining right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> About the yeah. episode. Yeah, we haven't even properly seen anything, but we know Tharys is going to be complaining. Just a prediction. Anyway, Ace. What? Well, oh, see that before. Was that Tegan and Ace? Yeah. That's mad. They're in unit or something. I was something, about to say, is that unit? That's like unit headquarters. Why is there a cross? Or is that a line? No, that's like the oh. window. <laughs> They've all turned into like rampaging <laughs> Christians with machine guns. Leaked. 100% yeah. real. Could Kate Stewart? Yeah, Martha. she's the next shot. She's the next shot. Look, 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 look. Oh. Boom. Kate Stewart. Oh, she's being taken by Cybermen. There's so much stuff going on in this episode. It does slightly worry me. Yeah. Is Chibnall going to be able to wrap it up? Because Flux was a little bit of a car crash. This was crash. what Flux did. We saw loads of stuff and we were like, oh yeah, and then it was too much. And then... But at the same time, it's Tegan and Nyssa. No, not Nyssa. Maybe Nyssa's coming back. You can't have Tegan without Nyssa. And canonically, the pair are like together or married or something. Oh. So maybe, maybe this will come back. Well, the question well. is, have they put all the surprises in the trailer? Or... That's the thing. Yeah, they could be keeping. Because we know some. that we know that Doctor Who are prone <laughs> to ruining things by putting them yeah. in the trailer at Kate Stewart at John Sim. <laughs> but at the same time, it's just magnificent. Finally, we get to see Dan and Jodie in the orange space suits. I don't know why that makes me so happy. We've what seen ev we've seen every other Doctor wear that orange spacesuit, apart from well every modern Who Doctor apart from Eccleston, and now Jodie in her final episode is going to be wearing that spacesuit as well. It's just a nice little thing. It's cool. It's vibes, vibey, yeah. bro. <laughs> Vinda. No one cares about Vinda. No, I like Vinda. Vinda's all right. You could have taken him out of Flux, and it would have made no difference. I mean, you're not wrong. He was basically completely pointless <laughs> in Flux. But Jacob, Jacob Anderson's a Chad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I just that, see this is what when you say it's like going to be too much. It's little things like this which is going to make it too much. Like bringing Vinda back yeah. for no reason. Or no, no, never mind. <laughs> no, no. Things no. like Vinda is going to make it too yeah. much. Next you have Yas. Yas has got a gun. Oh no! Ooh. Shooting river. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from my woman. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. There's a lot of guns in this episode. Like I mean, I noticed the Sea Devils episode was very action heavy as well. Yeah. Like there was lots of action in that. Yeah. Plus, I don't know if it's maybe foreshadowing, but you know when he killed the thingy and Jody went, "Oh, you didn't have to kill him." Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yas will. Yeah, maybe Yaz will kill someone. someone. Maybe that's what makes the doctor go away. That's a Dalek shooting... A Cyberman? No, it's Dan. Dan? A blurry figure. Oh, Sasha! <laughs> Sasha, what a chad. He's got long hair and a beard. Now, I predicted back when Sasha was in Cardiff, he was completely clean-shaven, had a new haircut and everything. I was like, the Master's coming back and he's going to have some sort of prosthetics on. Which is going to be the beard and the hair. So just saying, I called but this what back does the in beard September. And the hair mean? It pro. See, this is the thing. Is it going to be like he's been there for years and years and years, and then and you get this timey wimey thing? Yeah, it's got to be that because oh. yeah, and then he clean shit. What I can't work out for life for me where he is in the background. No. Maybe it's Gallifrey again, but I'm only saying that. No, they're inside. It's a building. There's buildings on Gallifrey. <laughs> Like, he's in the throne room or something. Because it's orange walls. Gallifrey, it, in my head, just signifies... No, orange just signifies... Ooh, we're in Gallifrey! Anyway. Yeah, but the towers are orange as well. So. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Is it the Towers of Terillium? I think it is. Or is it Gallifrey? <laughs> the regeneration. And that, that effect. That does look really oh. good. Look, it's even in yeah. her eyes. Where is she? It's all close ups. It's it looks really like she's in some tell. kind of like chamber, yeah, like a glass, glass chamber glass or something. Thingy. Glass yeah. thingy of doom. Almost like she's being forced to regenerate yeah. so somebody can use her regeneration energy. Davros? Look at, look at, hang on. Davros? <laughs> <laughs> no, if, if Davros is in this as well, it's, if that would be way too much, probably. I don't know. We'll see how Chibnall handles it. Maybe it's look in the there. reflection there. Is that the master? Or is that just light? No, no, it's, it's light. just light. <laughs> it looked in the freeze frame we had. It looked like there was a reflection, but no. She shouts "Yaz" as she's dying, and then they've weirdly got 
Legend of the Sea Devils at the end. That's not meant to be there. Well, it's because it's at the end of Legend of the Sea Devils. But that is genuinely mad. Like, yeah. I can't quite process it. I want to look at the comments of the trailer and see what other people are saying. Uh oh. Um, Looks like it's going to be a great final. Any any theories or anything? I don't know, but I mean, personally, I think the trailer looks amazing. Having Tegan and Ace back is genuinely mad, especially like classic Who fans have been asking for this sort of stuff for years. This is almost, I reckon, going to act as like the 60th anniversary special, which. Yeah, maybe, oh, and I don't, I don't want to get carried away. But the multi, the, there were a bunch of classic doctors in Cardiff at the time of shooting the centenary special. They said it was for like this documentary thing, which it might well have been. But at the same time, maybe the classic doctors are returning alongside their companions. It's literally all the comments are literally just about Ace and Tegan. Yeah, it is mad. Like, oh, I just, I just hope Chibnall doesn't put too much in, like. Yeah. I don't know. Let's get rid of Vinda. <laughs> no, make Vinda a good character. Uh, right, do you know what? I will accept Vinda if there's a reason for why he was in. Like, if he's if he's just there as a useless thing again, then mm. I'm going to be angry. But if he's actually, if there's a big reveal about Vinda or there's a something if involving he, him, they, they just need to make him relevant. That, yeah, that's what I mean. If Flux, he was kind of pointless. If there's something big involving him, mm. then I'll be like, great. But if it's just an irrelevant sideline story again, which takes away from time that could be spent on the plot, then I'll be like... <laughs> yeah. And that probably means as well Carbonista and Belle are going to be alongside Vinda. Didn't they have a kid? Not was Carbonista it... and Belle. <laughs> no. Vinda wasn't Belle, and Belle. Wasn't Belle pregnant? Yeah. Their as-of-yet-born child. Actually, no, they didn't have the kid yet. He was as-of-yet-unborn exactly. in if Chibnall's words. Also, oh, that was genuinely annoyed me right at the start of the episode today. We got another cracking piece of classic Chibnall dialogue where someone was like... Not if I kill you. Yeah, not if I <laughs> kill... It's like... Argh! But overall, solid. This wasn't a review of the episode. That was a review of the trailer. But it was a pretty good trailer. I mean... I think, how is it from your perspective? Because obviously you don't really care about the classic Who Companions returning. As a new Who viewer, what are your thoughts? Um, I see. I don't know. Part of, part of me was like, oh yeah, Cybermen and Daleks. Yeah, but the then, vibes. But then also I was like, no, because I'm, I'm bored of going Cybermen Daleks because... Yeah. You just expect them to come back at this point. Yeah. There was no apart from Ace and Tegan, who I don't really Care. well, I don't care about, but I don't have any connection to, like I said, I thought it was Sarah Jane. <laughs> and then I could have told you that Cybermen and Daleks were gonna be in it because yeah. they come back all the time. So for me there was nothing that I was like <gasps> apart, apart from the master, but we we need Apart the from Sasha, but there. again. Yeah, Sasha's the only thing that I was like, Yes. And when she said Yaz at the end, I was like oh, because no. obviously that means that's yeah. But apart from that, it it was yeah. It, I thought it was a really good trailer. But once again, you've got to bear in mind it is a lot of like key jangling. It's like these yeah. are the things you love and they're back. Uh, yeah, but I just yeah. Oh, I like the regeneration. At the the end. regeneration did yeah, look really, really cool. Really, but really I think that'll wrap up. Yeah. This... Oh, didn't like Vinda. Poor Vinda. <laughs> Can we start justice for Vinda? Yeah. But that does wrap up our quick trailer reaction and review. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Go and check out the trailer and let let, let us know your theories. Yeah. Goodbye.